Today, we are going to demonstrate how to create and organize project tasks for work breakdown structures using NetSuite's project management module. For this demonstration, we will be creating and organizing tasks for a simple painting project. For the sake of time, we've already created the project record. If you need instructions on how to create a project record, please see the transcription of this video for a link. The first thing you will need to do is open the project record and scroll down to the Schedule tab. Once there, click on New Project Task and a pop-up window will appear. Now we can begin creating the project tasks and or the milestones for your work breakdown structure. We recommend that you begin with parent tasks, also known as summary tasks. We're going to name our first parent task prep work. Click Save and then click OK in the pop-up window. Let's create our next parent task and name it Painting Work, keeping in mind that the prep work task must be completed before the painting work can begin. NetSuite refers to this relationship as a predecessor relationship, so we will need to set up the prep work task as a predecessor to the painting work task. To do that, click on Predecessors. In the Task drop-down menu, select Prep Work and then click Add. We also want to click Save and then click OK in the pop-up window. Now let's create a third parent task named Clean Up. But before we can clean up, we must finish the painting work, which means that the painting work is a predecessor to the cleanup task. Click on Predecessors, select Painting Work from the Task drop-down menu and then click Add. Click Save and then click OK in the pop-up window. Now we can see that we have three main parent tasks for our painting project. But what about the more granular work that needs to be done within each one of these parent task areas? For example, there are a lot of individual prep work tasks that need to be done to complete the parent prep work task. NetSuite's project management module allows us to create child or dependent tasks, which NetSuite calls subtasks. Let's look at a few examples of how to do this. Click on New Project Task, and we're going to name this Select Room and Make Measurements. Just below the Name and Project Name fields, click on the drop-down field for Parent Task and select Prep Work as the Parent Task. Click Save and then click OK. Now we also need to purchase materials for our painting project, which is another subtask of prep work. We're going to click on New Project Task, and we're going to name this subtask Buy Materials. Again, just below the Name and Project Name fields, click on the drop-down field for Parent Task and select Prep Work. Now we know that before we can purchase the materials, we need to know what type of materials and quantity which means that we will need to have the room selected and also have our measurements before we can purchase the materials. Therefore, the subtask Select Room and Make Measurements is the predecessor to the subtask Buy Materials. Now let's tell NetSuite this. While we're still within the Buy Materials subtask, we'll click on Predecessors, and in the Task drop-down menu, select Select Room and Make Measurements, and then click Add, click Save, and then click OK in the pop-up window. We can now see in the system that NetSuite automatically places the tasks we've created in a hierarchical order, with subtasks placed under their respective parent tasks. Using this logic, the NetSuite Project Management Module can deliver a very comprehensive work breakdown structure by creating the parent and subtasks with their respective predecessors. Thanks for watching. We hope that this video was helpful.